so there's five so far <coughs> this is Zoe's first litter she's still giving birth so I'm trying to keep an eye on her to make sure that she's still okay I'm trying not to disturb her as much as possible you know but We'll see what so far. I see five little babies. Oh, Zoe, please be nice to them. And she's over there. She's still in the process of giving birth. I believe she really has huge lumps on her. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too surprised if she's still giving birth. You okay, Zozo? The babies are right here. She made it with um, an orange short haired Syrian hamster. So it should be a mixture of her and the orange one. They're so cute. They're so beautiful. I'm trying not to disturb her as much as possible. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her to make sure that she's okay because, you know, Syrian hamsters tend to have more babies than dwarfies. Oh, she's so cute. You okay, Zozo? I think she still she still has some coming out, I think. But I'm just keeping an eye on her for now. Trying not to disturb her as much as possible. And that's good because um, recent earlier this day I cleaned the cage. And I put new bedding on, so the whole cage is cleaned. Even the other hamsters, I wiped everything down. Everything literally is cleaned. Look at her lumps, huge lumps right there. I'm wearing gloves, by the way, so that she doesn't get my scent on her or her babies. I mean, I'm not planning on touching the babies anytime soon. Even though they're so cute. They're so tiny. Oh my goodness. I was expecting them to come out um, on the 30th. Because they said that usually the babies come out uh, 16 days after mating. She made it on the 13th. But I guess it's different when they have so many babies, right? I mean, that's what I think. Oh, look at those two just chilling. And then the other three is like, where's mama's milk? Zoe, go back to your nest. She have a little nest right there in the corner. But she moved over there. I don't know. She's continuing there.